Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yay. So my name is Laura Mitchell and I am a clinical nurse specialist in the Adolescent and Young Adult or AYA program here at Princess Margaret. I guess my interest in nursing started uh, when I was taking some women's health electives at McGill University that were actually taught by nurses. AYA oncology specifically, um, I became exposed to that working as an inpatient nurse um, in a solid tumor unit here at Princess Margaret where I saw younger adults with cancer that had different areas of need that I didn't think we were necessarily optim optimally meeting. When we were starting up an adolescent young adult program here at Princess Margaret, I had applied for the job and it seemed to be a good fit for me. A typical day I would generally see a couple of patients, so maybe two or three patients for a consultation with their program. Um, a lot of the consultations can be urgent because they are conversations around fertility preservation and facilitating referrals for those patients to fertility clinics. Um, another piece of my work it might be whether it's mentoring a nurse on the unit or delivering a nursing education session around some of the key AY issues such as fertility or sexual health. Or there might be a bit of time where I am working on some of the research we are conducting in our program. What's probably most gratifying within this role is that um, the program really addresses these different areas of needs. So, for example, I can sit down with a patient for an hour and really go through how cancer is impacting their life. So, an example would be a young woman with breast cancer who was really doing well in her career, who is not married yet and would like to have a family in the future. So really sitting down and preparing her, giving her the option and information on fertility preservation, giving her information on some of the younger women's support groups so that it does normalize the experience for her. Really knowing that you're making that difference and that and being able to really close that gap in care for younger patients here.